Hey boys, welcome back to some more Young Guns Season 1 career mode 2021 season and it's going to be round 3 taking on the uh, the Melbourne Storm who are, who are <laughs> struggling. They're, they're none from 2, we're 2 from 2, so a uh, a bit of a bit of a flip here. I mean, you know, we we've got a we've got a gun team for sure, but the Storm I'm trying to think, do we have any uh, any youngsters? Nah, we, we could have picked up, obviously, Ryan Pappenhausen. Why do I say it like that? Ryan Pappenhausen. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like like I said before, didn't want to get every single superstar young kid. <laughs> didn't want to muck around every team. But, uh, but yeah, we, uh, I mean, look at the team here. Marion Seve, who, uh, yeah, hasn't, hasn't, uh, hasn't played Cooper Johns, Cameron Munster there. Brandon Smith instead of... Uh, Instead of Harry Grant. Actually, do we have... Oh, no, we have Harry Grant. That's right. I forgot. Um, Harry Grant, we've uh, we've pinched from uh, from the Stormers. So, yeah, other than that, they're still a very strong team. But, uh, yeah, Marion Seve. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he's been a really good player. Obviously, Remus Smith has come in and sort of taken his spot. But he's done a great job for the Storm for, for a long time. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't sort of gone on maybe to another club or, or whatnot is a great great start to the game here tabby life for no down the sideline he is not going to be caught and that is going to be a try the first set of six of the game Jeez, the uh the storm there we, we just shot them for numbers down the blind side a nice little uh nice little play got uh got the center in steven Crichton in space and and uh the hammer tabby life for no not going to be stopped that uh yeah when he gets into the clear so great great start to us terrible start to the storm and yeah a little little bit of a, a you know problem in the in the storm defense maybe i know i know um in real life people are starting to think that uh yeah you, you run the storm side to side and you can you can get around them a little bit i don't you know i don't know if it's that easy but uh we we sort of shown our hand nice and early there and and scored a, a nice one unfortunately we, we had another good chance to to press some more attack but just uh yeah a little little bit scrappy in the in the play out wide and you know it's going to happen with the new team new combinations players just getting a little bit mixed up and not quite knowing where they're, they're meant to be running but you know we'll we'll work it out the team will start gelling very very nicely i mean we, we've got a couple of nice tight wins but i think uh i think for sure there's going to be some there's going to be some tries scored we, we're going to start we're going to start to click and and really start singing the ball nicely but uh at the moment just sort of toiling nicely our defense has been rock solid which is you know that, that's the that's the pinnacle of a, of a good team oh no oh we just you know Stephen Crichton didn't really look i i just expected for no to be on the wing i think he must have been in field looking for a little a little scoot from dummy half and yeah just didn't even didn't even realize he wasn't there <laughs> all too late so we're going to give the storm a, uh, a perfect chance to to hit back in this game and you know they are none from two but this is going to be a, a tough a tough tough game without without a doubt it's right here what have they done that's uh yeah looking looking like yeah they're just just out of out of a bit of touch this uh this season and uh right here knock on i thought it was a little bit of a little bit of a harsh call it definitely it definitely hit the lead runner um i wanted to look on replay because I, th I thought that it maybe come off his like you know chest or something but yeah right here little little dummy and then yeah i, mean, I guess fair enough like you could argue it went backwards but probably momentum um fair enough call just again just a little bit scrappy a little bit not knowing where grant was looking for him to come back and yeah a little, little bit on um uh, yeah just a little bit out of practice at the minute but uh the storm also like like i was gonna say they just they've been a little bit you know un melbourne like to start this career which again a forward pass <laughs> i actually thought this one was a little bit of a, a little bit of a harsh call against them but yeah just both teams just just sort of working working themselves out at the at the minutes and uh yeah we're, we're looking probably the better but a terrible pass oh no oh I, I i didn't want the pass to go that wide or especially not that goddamn loopy and that man there at car he reads the he reads the play better than any winger in the comp and He's gonna he's gonna snag that one. I mean, pretty much any any winger could have <laughs> could have intercepted that one. That was that was just served up on a silver platter for him. Is Cameron Munster? He's he's, 
<laughs> I mean, that's extremely fitting. Cameron Munster misses. Um, not not an easy kick, but uh, one you would expect a, a kicker to make, and he just sprays it to the left. So uh, fitting for for old Cam Munster there. But uh, we, uh, you know, that's a bit of a wake up call. The the Storm do finally crack us six points to four. You know, we we've given them chances. They've, uh, you know, the storm of old probably would have put two or three tries on us by now, but yeah, they're just a little bit out of out of form as well as Stephen Crichton, almost almost looking for that little late little right hand flick to to the hammer. Uh, it was on. I mean, I was I was tempted to try and throw it, but probably the right play to hold it is swinging it wide there. Dylan Brown puts in a neat little kick. Unfortunately, just just kicked it a little late, so I couldn't chase through. He was he was held back in the in a legal a legal tackle there as Tupanua straight through the the meat of the defense there he's been good since uh, getting the starting role in, in round two he's been one of our better forwards as Dylan Brown turns it back on the inside there Zach Lomax almost getting through nice nice play swinging it wide turning it back on the inside that's you know it's 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 a good tactic against any team really his big day for feeder just the ankle tap Ryan Pappenhausen with an absolute try saver on the runaway for feeder and then Harry Green, I was looking to sp I was looking to go blindside, but he was just uh, good. Good read in defence from the Storm markers as Dylan Brown here puts up the kick. Brian Toto, probably not the man we should be targeting. But he gets a nice little bat down. Zach Lomax gets the little chip and chase in. We get the we get the six to go. Will we get one last play in this game? Swinging it wide, Dylan Brown puts in the kick. He just can't get it away in time. Just too close to the defensive line. And uh, that is going to bring us up into half time, six points to four. So we started to, yeah, you know, look at the completions. Um, we started to swing a few things together in that uh, the back end of the first half. Obviously, nice to get a, an early try and a, a really nice early try. Is who was Ado Car? Beautiful play, getting the pass. I don't know what happened there. A little bit, uh, a little bit weird with the tackle animation, but. Uh, Justin Olam do, does get brought to ground, and then all of a sudden, Dalfin Nukin just rumbles up. So, Bellamy has uh, has absolutely blown his top at halftime, and he's got the boys fired up for this one. He's uh, yeah, they're starting to they're starting to play uh, quite a bit more up tempo in this second half as Cooper Johns there takes it towards the line. Obviously, no Jerome Hughes, who uh, I mean, I, I dude, <laughs> going off a little bit of a tangent here, but. I said years ago, Jerome Hughes was was an excellent halfback, and Johns and all all those other geniuses acted like he's not. As right here, Sam Walker, beautiful play, gets through, puts the kick in. Oh, I thought it was a good play on on offer, but um, but the Storm do read it well. I thought for a second it was going to be a, a scintillating try, but uh, not quite, not quite. The Storm were were back well and covered that one um but i thought yeah it wasn't out to addo car's wing so i thought we had a, a sneaky chance for a for a try there but uh yeah i was i was singing i was singing jerome hughes's praises for a long time but yeah they, they were all saying that he's not a, he's not a halfback they're not he's not a he's not an out and out halfback he's doing a good job but he's not an out and out halfback and you know what are they saying now what are they saying now <laughs> he's He's one of the he's one of the best halfbacks in the in the comp without doubt. Um, be obviously he's missing from this one, which is a a big loss for the Storm, a big game for us. As uh, that was nice, nice a couple of offloads there, chancing our arm a little bit as Dave Fafita gets the pass. Ah, just copped the contact, threw it forward. We had the numbers, and I mean, I mean that left side dude, the left side for Fafita, Katoni Stags, Brian Toto. I mean that is. Oh man, that is an absolute nightmare for a defensive line. Is a big shot. It spews out the back. Ado Car, Matt Burden comes up with a massive tackle. Ado Car in that position, you'd be you'd be almost putting away the glass there for a try. But oh, that was almost a try to us, and then almost a try to the Storm. So still, it's still six four. I don't know how either team hasn't scored in this second half yet, but. Both team looking looking pretty sharp, honestly. It's been a, it's been an exciting half without any points. Um, but yeah, going back to that left hand side of Fafita, Stags, and Toto. I mean, that is, geez, that is a, that is a rough side to defend. Just absolute powerhouses. <laughs> All three of them. You don't want either of them to run the footy. Um, could, can you think of a, a more powerful left quartet than that? I don't know. I mean, Fafita has got to be the strongest second row runner in the game, right? Like, you know, you could argue a couple of guys are up there, but, and then Katoni Staggs, I mean, who else, who else is harder to tackle in the centers? I mean, Latrell Mitchell obviously is tough. Um, there's a couple other guys for sure, but I mean, Staggs, 
powerhouse. And then Toto, you, you just can't stop him one-on-one. -on -one. Here he goes again down the sideline. Breaks through a one, breaks through a two. <laughs> always, always again, the freaking ankles up. But Ryan Papenhausen has come up with a couple of try savers in this one. We go for the heel goal. It spews out the name for Fida. Goes to Toto. I, <laughs> oh, no. So I didn't want him to do that. I, I pressed circle. Well, I must have double tap circle for him to... Because I wanted him to chip and chase. But um, when you double tap circle, for some reason, they go for the, the, the field goal. So that's why he did that. And then uh, a little bit of a, a cheesy penalty. The Storm milked that one nicely. Um, they had us on the back foot. So I was probably... I mean, a fair, fair enough penalty but also he he milked it and uh they're gonna go for the two points a good kick from Munster there thankfully thankfully he missed that <laughs> missed the first conversion so we're still level peggings I uh, this has been a this has been a crazy game for two tries as who is this Katoni stags down the sideline gets the offload back to Brian Toe flings it back to Fafita he gots a tackle he knocks it on oh my goodness <laughs> he could have won the game right then and there somehow somehow Oh, I, I, oh, the, the offload here, I probably should have just gone to ground with it. It was a little bit of an audacious offload. But right here, does he tackle him without the footy? It was, it was all a bit weird, but I guess he, he did knock it on at the end there. Uh, as the Storm get the scrum feed 10 meters out. The big shot again. It, it spews out the back uh, for no. Takes it. We're going to set up for the field goal right here. Who was back? Sammy Walker in the spot. He's got to go for it. He spewed it. He's hit the post. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I honestly, I panicked a little bit. I thought there was less time than, than there was. I probably could have set up one more play and then got in a better position. But honestly, he was, he was like 15 out right in front. Like, it was a pretty good spot. He hit it. He hit it okay. It just, it just, uh, it just spewed to the left and, and hit the, uh, hit the woodwork. So, yeah, a couple of chances. A couple of chances as we almost squander it off the kickoff. And uh, thankfully not. But the Storm get a chance here. Four tackles. Swing it back to Papenhausen. Straight through the big tackle there. Who was that? Harry Grant playing against his old club. Comes up with it. A, a tough one here. Last tackle. The Storm, they're real close to the line. So that was always going to be a tough one to go for the field goal. That line break honestly sort of helped us in that situation. As uh, the pass goes out, Jordan Ricky on the field makes it a good break downfield. So we're going to get a chance here. Four tackle. We'll just take one more good hit up here. It's going to go back to Sammy Walker. Goes through. Throws the dummy. Gets the pass back to Payne Haas. He gets the offload. Dylan Brown just hold the foot. He <laughs> just hold the damn footy, dude. Harry Grant. Sammy Walker. He's a little bit far to the right here. But a nice pass to Harry from Harry Grant to Sam Walker. He slots it, beautiful play, and uh, somehow I don't I don't know how there was only two tries in that whole game. It it was it was back and forth, end to end stuff. But yeah, we, we get the win, Cameron Munster player of the match, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.